Good morning, everyone. Here's some tulips for you. I saw tulips at Trader Joe's the other day and almost bought some, but I didn't. Maybe I'll go back and buy some. But on Valentine's Day, which is the day I went, it was really crowded and I'm sure the prices were higher. Anyway, today I'm gonna to talk about uh, the art of support, uh, how you can manage your expectations as a friend of a trauma survivor. So the first thing is remembering to practice patience. Trauma survivors go through trauma in their own unique ways and they may not be your ways and they may not be at the pace that you think it should be. So really just sitting back, having empathy, paying attention to what they need, asking them what they need and practicing patience. Practicing just listening, active listening, letting whatever they say come in you can protect yourself with a shield and you know ground yourself so that you don't take on too much of their energy while still coming from your heart and feeling that loving support and giving them the loving support that they so desperately need. Everybody who's been through trauma, especially if it's really fresh, they need a lot of support. So if you know someone in your family or anywhere that you meet a person who's survived a trauma, if you want to offer your support, just be very patient with them. Educate yourself. What do they need? What does a trauma survivor need? They need a lot of things that we all need in common. They need patience, they need compassion, they need love, they need forum for being able to speak their truth, but they're, they may have unique needs as well. So ask them, what do you need? And try to meet their needs as best that you can, but also manage your own needs. You have needs for rest, replenishment, staying grounded, staying supported, being hydrated, being nourished. You have your own needs that need to be met as well. So educate yourself as to what trauma survivors need and what you need in order to be a good supporter of your friend. Set boundaries. It's really important to manage your time. If you get overwhelmed and you aren't able to really hear all of what they have to say because it's triggering something in you, then you may have to tell them, I need to take a break, give me five minutes, and then do whatever you need to do to get back in balance, whether that's praying or pausing. I use the word pause for pray and use spiritual energy, but get back to your own heart, to your own center, to the soul, loving soul that you are, that is wanting to support them. And then if you can come back in five minutes, that's great. If you need to take a break for the rest of the day, whatever you need, make sure that you let them know that you're gonna come back and support them as best you can. So those are some ways that you can set boundaries. And just remember that trauma is a very devastating thing for most survivors. They don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle it alone and everyone needs support, especially with a fresh trauma, but even with old traumas, or some people have trauma on trauma on trauma, just so many things that have happened that it's just like a compilation of a lot of things that build up and build up, and then they need a lot of support, compassion, empathy, and understanding. So if you're willing to do that, three cheers for you. <laughs> three cheers for you for doing that. I think that's fabulous. So that's what I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna talk about today. Let me know what you have done to support trauma survivors. Let me know what has worked for you. If you have been a trauma survivor and have been supported by friends, let's share. Put some comments in the comment section and let's share so we can learn from each other. Okay, take care.